Good evening, Docketeers. How is everybody? And hello, Miss Amy. Hello. Hey, everybody. How is everybody this evening? They have their popcorn ready. It looks like it's going to be some more juicy Letitia phone calls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think we, we've we got seven phone calls. I think that's right. And I also think I should never use the words juicy and Letitia together again because that mm. made my stomach kind of turn. <laughs> <laughs> um welcome everybody to the docket and here's what we're going to do um since i could never get clarification as to why the other one was taking down for violating a guideline we will use initials to say who is on the line. Obviously, you'll know Leticia. And we will use the other person's initials. And instead of using the report, I put in the body cam footage and just put the conversations over top of it. Um, the first few pictures that I did, there's, I think there's three or four, um, are new pictures from El Paso County. They had 47 pictures that they charged 18 bucks for, and all 47 pictures are from Florida. Um, and from under the bridge, but the only ones that I, that I used are, there was a couple sets of footprints under the bridge that they felt like needed to be photographed and checked into. Thank you, Pisces, so much. Um... So I did put those in at the very beginning so you could see those. Um, and then, you know, for those who maybe don't have Discord and haven't gotten to hear it yet, uh, we're going to start with the one with Leticia, where she's all fired up about her clothes being taken by that person and selling them and whatnot. So we have that call and then six new calls. And again, I know it sucks, but since we're having to use the process of elimination to figure out what it is that we did wrong um i have to be careful how i go forward um and yeah, this, is the, this is the only way that i know to do it to know that i'm absolutely not violating anybody's or violating any guidelines so i hope It'll be a little different, but it, it is, you know, kind of bland as far as the background now. Um, but we're here to listen. It's fine. Make sure you have your headphones on and um, the static. Thank you, Ashley. The static on the one call caller who you know it's there every time they talk and you know who i'm talking about um it just is what it is guys i don't know if it's her connection her signal or or what 
Um, but everybody else is, is really, really clear except for the one, you know, the one she talks to the most. So I right, from Japan. Wow. Thank you, Pisces. Um, with that, uh, Amy, would do you have anything you would like to add before we jump in here? I was just going to say uh, there's some back and forth. It's, it's friendly in the chat about Harley and her involvement or whatever. Let's just say that people have their differing opinions and hello. I'm sorry. I did not mean to interrupt you. No, 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 no. That's fine. I was just, I had to, but there are differing opinions and, and yes, the judge said, you know, Harley didn't have anything to do with it and Harley wasn't charged. And then there's another side that says you don't give a proffer letter to somebody that might need a proffer, proffer letter and the statute of limitations said have run out. So just peacefully coexist. <laughs> um, and yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, I, I get it. You know, there's, 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 there don't, doesn't seem to be a gray area and it just is what it is. You know, I'm not here to change anybody's mind and I'm not, and nobody is going to, you know, change mine, but. Right. Right. It, it, it's yeah. And I, ev everybody that's commenting in defense of Harley, like I respect you and I definitely see the other side as well. And I'll just be really honest. This is all on me. I struggle. I go back and forth. So uh, there's that. Yeah. Well, you know, there's, again, you know, there's, everybody can, can feel how they want to feel. Um, I've made my opinion about it well known on Twitter. I've never done it on here. Um, but, you know, it's my opinion. I'm entitled to it. Somebody said, somebody said that, unfortunately, we'll never know. And yeah, that's the thing. You know, we're at the, we're at, we have to take the court's word for it. So. I didn't just, really make a big deal about it. I just didn't want, I want you guys to really listen to these phone calls. I, you know, I feel like it gives us a lot of insight. I know some people have said the trial's over. Why, why are we still talking about this? But listen, there was a whole lifetime between her being arrested and going to trial. There's a whole, there's, there's a whole nother story here. And we're so, um, I don't know if lucky is the right word, but it's interesting that we get to hear some of this dynamic. And if you follow the case and you watch the trial, then this is the gap where we heard nothing. Well, and that's what Kathy and I were talking about before you came backstage is, and, you know, and like I, like I told her, you know, to me, getting the case file and being fortunate enough to be able to have access to even get these phone calls, you literally, you get a, go through the whole investigation from the beginning until the end and you get to read every step of it, every report and you and with these phone calls and if we're able to get her jail file i mean good lord it's over three thousand pages i mean it shows give so much insight into her her thinking process 
Yep. And the, and the thing about it is it's going to do it, like you said, over the course of three years. Yeah, it, exactly, OG. I mean, you're getting... And there's listen. There are things in that in the in the reports that aren't pretty. <laughs> that are not pretty. I promise you, there aren't. Uh, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff. But we should probably get into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh. I will. I will shut up and mute. And here we go, guys. Thank you all for being here so much. Thanks so much. Hello. Hello, I want to make this my last phone call to you. Why? I'm very pissed at what's going on. Huh? No, don't play it like you don't know what I'm talking about. I don't. Why, in God's name, is Kim out there selling everything in mind? Why? And hey, she said you, you gave her permission? No, that's what you told everyone. I didn't tell her anyone anything because I haven't even talked to anybody. And I never gave it to her to do it. Never said you, that to you. You went out. I said I never said that to you. And I never said that to her. And I never said that to anyone. But that's really dirty. It's dirty on your part. It's dirty on everybody else's part there. But that's okay though. I won't call you anymore, and that's on my word. Because I can't believe you of all people would have turned your back on me. How is that turning my back on you? That's, that's turning your back. And, and, and what is this about Marisa's adopting you? What? what? Yeah. Mom. Yeah, no, 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 no. Don't call me mom. I'm so mad at you. I can't even believe you. Why would that even be a conversation? Just think. Think? Think. Think? Yes. Yeah, you want me to think, right? Y'all mentioned nothing to me. You said absolutely nothing. Because it's not going to happen. First of all, Harley, you don't talk about this to people. Or they don't go behind my back and do all these things without talking to me first. Regardless of the situation, it's how people handle something in life. They handle it in life by talking to the person first. Giving them time to meditate on it, give them time to think on it and pray on it, and then they go from there. They don't go behind my, my back and tell everybody this. Do all these things behind my back. Tell me absolutely nothing. And I said to you on the phone the other day, because see, here's why you could have took that credit card and paid the rest of it. That's why I ask you this. But everybody assured me, don't worry about it. Blah, 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 blah. And I specifically asked you on the phone, I said, Holly, did you, you sure you put stuff up? Yes. You, you lied to me. You knew what this I did was. not. It was literally the stuff that you had already told people that you were going to sell. Your jacket. No, because Amy has messages from Kim that says, Kim sold all my lily dresses. Okay, well, I don't know. No one told me that. kind of dirty and it's behind my back what all y'all are doing so I'm just making my point I'm going to stop Katie and all them tomorrow I'm signing the paper and they're not allowed to talk to y'all anymore for about nothing unless they need something that's pivotal to the judicial system okay because if you can't be honest with me and tell me things and not hide stuff behind my back, 18 years, and you want to hide stuff behind my back, that's hurtful. You should have stepped up and said, 
and my mom should be talked to first. And then now I hear, oh my god, yeah, Harley is getting adopted and they bought Harley and Charlie the house. You didn't even mention any of this to me. We didn't. I don't understand why you're listening to people and you're letting them affect you. So you're saying that Amy Bowen is lying. Because that's who just told me. Okay, well, people don't have their stories straight, so I don't I don't understand why you can come to me and you can yell at me and say all those things to me when I'm the only one who stood by your side the entire time. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad that you are yes, not you are. what's going on. Yes, you are. Holly, oh, don't cry, please. <laughs> Do you know I love you? more than anything in this world. That's why it shocked me so bad that I don't even know what's going on. You gotta talk to me and communicate with me. I'm not your enemy. You're not my enemy. I understand you're the only one stood by my side. Are you saying completely you're the only one standing by my side right now? No, I'm saying I'm the only one who's been there for you through everything. You are. And you don't get to say that to me. Well, I apologize for what I said, other than the fact that I said it. What did I say that you didn't like? That you're never going to call me again? Um, you know I was being mad. I'm sorry. No, you don't get to just say that just to make someone upset. It's not okay. You just say what? Make sure what? You don't get to just tell someone that because you're angry. I just apologize to you, Arlie. I've been every day of my life changing my heart, making everything pure in my life, and, and committing myself to the Lord Jesus Christ. Every day, I called you, I talked to you about things, I said, hey, read this in the Bible, hey, do this, and I've been trying to stay in communication with you through this because it's tough, okay? And the world is cruel and mean out there, and it's tough. So all I'm asking from you is if someone says something or you hear them say it, run it by your mom. Because do you know how hard it is on me to know? That another person right now has a month and a half worth of custody of you, two months. Do you know how hard that is? Do you know how hard it is when I have given everything I have to take care of you and to make sure you never went without, make sure you were raised in a good house, and to feel like someone else comes in and I appreciate what they're doing, but I don't like going behind my back talking. I don't like all my stuff just getting sold or whatever. You could have took the credit card and paid for the things. So I asked you, I asked you the whole time, hey, it's my purse there, my purse there. No, Mom, I don't have your cards. You said my purse. I don't have your purse. Nothing in the purse. Nothing at all in the purse. They took everything out. Yes. Look. What I want you to do from here forward is you have to talk to me and communicate. Because I called you the other day. That's why I didn't call you yesterday. I called you the other day, and you didn't say hardly anything. And I get that you are under a lot of stress, and you mean the world to me, and you are, have a purpose in this life, and God loves you unconditionally. God, God is your father. He he gave his own son for both of us. So if we start losing our faith and start me and you all not on the same page, then guess what? The devil is going to attack. Okay, so I'm sorry I didn't mean not call you again. I'm upset because I'm on the phone with Amy, checking on you, how she doing, whatever. Yeah, whatever's going to talk to her. And I was like, what? sitting there like no one has even said this to me my own
only concern is why wouldn't someone have enough decency to talk to me first? I wouldn't be angry at them. I wouldn't. So why come nobody wouldn't talk to me? Because we can't just call you, Mom, and we can't talk about it on the phone. Talk about what you about what Amy Bluton said on the phone about adoption. You can't talk about that on the phone. No. Why? I told you to just think about it. I've already thought about it. I know I'm not stupid. I know what comes with that. But no one said it's ever happening. People are just putting thoughts out there. It's not put into place. It's not happening. It, but I'm not saying that I don't want someone to help you. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying talk to me about it. Okay. Um, you can talk to me about it, Harley. That's all. The whole time, Albert was trying to do that for you. But I know you didn't want to live there with him. So I'm not angry at people. Include me. I'm your mother. That's all I'm saying. And then I hear people sold on myself. If someone approached me and said, Harley is going to sell your stuff because she needs the money, you know what I'm going to say to them? Harley can have anything I have. Right? Hello? Mm -hmm. But not, I said, yeah. But not someone else doing it. I, I don't trust them like that. Because it... Mm. Go ahead, tell me. Mm -hmm. Communication. I'm not going to be upset, but you got to talk to me. Because why? Nothing. Please tell me. Oh, nothing. Why didn't... I just don't understand. You should just talk to me about it. You should have said, Mom, I need some money. I gotta do this now. Not when I ask you, you tell me a different story. That's why I'm frustrated. And I'm sure you don't know what to say because you're trying to, you're hearing stories from different people. But tell me. When I call you, say, hey, look, here's what I got planned, my idea. Is that something you can do? Mm. Hmm? Yeah. Are you still upset? Mm. Huh? No. I can't hear you. I said no. brought up because he didn't even know if it was an option. Okay, so basically you're saying that Amy might have been overreacting. You have one minute mm -hmm. remaining. Huh? Right. Okay, well, on top of that, I 
I was already upset because Kim's being involved in my clothes. And that's something you should have been doing. You should have talked to me and you could have done that. Especially when I've asked you several times about it. Do you see where I'm upset about that? Mom, I can't do everything. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm sorry if, if I'm asking too much. I'm sorry. I love you. Love you too. Promising you're okay? Mm-hmm. I love you, baby. Love you. Bye. So, <clears throat> thank you all. Thank you guys for the super chats and the stickers. First of all, Pisces and... Um, everybody who bought a super chat but it's really disgusting to listen to her preach to Harley you know like she's you know Jesus herself talking to her and breaking down the Bible for her and how is you know he died for them and it's it's it is really and truly just disgusting um the next call is the next morning to her again and in my notes i just I, all I put was the makeup call. So we will jump right into it. Hey. Using Global Telling. I 
to sleep. Can you hear them? Yeah, I can hear you. I just wanted to know that because I didn't sleep. I know it's a lot on everybody, but it's the hardest on you. Yeah, I wasn't even mad about the other thing about Melissa and them. Like, I, I wasn't even upset about that because that doesn't hurt me. The not talk telling me does. I mean, I would want to do anything to make sure you're okay. So I would never take that as a threat from anyone or to be upset, hurt over. I would take that as God finding a way for you to be taken care of until I could do it again. That's all. But if I, yeah. if I if I hear it and then I'm just like, what? No one even says this to me. That is upsetting. You gotta think now. It was you and I for so long. And then even in the last how many years, I mean, still, like you said, it's been just you and I, really. You know, so I'm sitting there like, you know, what in the world? Again, I'm not saying that it wouldn't be a good decision. I'm just saying, like, you know, they should have just told me. And not been telling everybody else. That part, I'm like... all this like trust being on you either because you never really had to deal with stress like this so you're not built for it you know and I just wanted all the end for you you know yeah I'm sorry if you're under scrutiny or whatever but God puts people in good situations, not bad. The devil puts them in bad ones. God brings you out through discipline. And I know that I've raised you enough to know, like, right from wrong. You know how not to be crazy. You know how to take care of yourself. I taught you that from a young age. all that you've been doing and I'm sorry if I ask you to do too much it's okay it's just I don't trust everybody so I trust in you and then I know it's a lot it's overwhelming for you to do everything I knew you couldn't get you know a truck a rental truck or nothing in your name so I was hoping that someone else would have helped you as long as we paid for it you know not plunder through my things and put them all online and take some for yourself and take pictures of yourself with them on like none of that that's that's, that's the worst for someone to do what is material things and it's okay because I would do anything for you but when people are doing it shady it's just wrong it's not helping you So did Dee Dee give her permission to do all this? I'm not sure. You don't know what happened, you just know what happened. Mm-hmm. Did did Dee Dee say anything to you last night? She said Well, I 
and they probably were sitting. So. Hmm? I said, I know you're probably resting, so I want you to get some rest. Because you probably didn't sleep good. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. Everything's gonna be okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Thank you for. So. Leticia starts out with she didn't. She didn't sleep well or sleep at all that night and tells Harley that she probably didn't sleep well either. <laughs> um, uh, it's it just it's it's so manipulative, yeah, because it, it starts out kind of like an apology, but I didn't sleep well last night and I didn't sleep well because it's your fault, Harley, and yeah. And even when she says she forgives her or she understands halfway through, she'll spin back around and say, but you don't need to be doing things behind my back. Like she hasn't forgiven her. Well, she that, want to be cut off from her. Yeah, that's the thing. And I, and I actually brought that up in the one that was yanked was how she, you know, she makes Harley she calls her up and threatens her about not calling her again. And then, you know, when she gets upset, Leticia talks her down. But at the end of the conversation, again, Tisha lets her know that, you know, you're the reason why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling right now. It's because you turned your back on me and you're letting people talk about me and do this and do that and do this. You know, yeah, and it's it's sad. It's sad. It's it's very sad. It's abusive. Yeah, it's controlling. And in, in the thing is that Letitia is a control freak, and you know, at, organically. And then she started telling her stories, and she was trying to control the narrative, and she couldn't because Al was on to her, and now she's behind bars and she's trying to control the situation by um, giving everybody these little orders about how to handle things for her. I mean, she's like the mob boss behind bars. Yeah, she 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 really is trying to be a shot caller from jail. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the only one that she can really make that work for is Harley. And as soon as Harley made one slip up or d doesn't do something, you know, the exact way, you know, she caught the wrath for it. She caught the wrath for it as everybody has listened to now. Um, and, you know, as we keep going, guys, I promise you, as we keep going along here, I see things in chat that people are asking. We, we will get there. I promise you. We will get to the things you're asking about. Um, as far as mentioning Gannon and some other things that I've seen in chat. And you'll have to forgive me. I don't see everything. Um, but we will, we will get there. I promise you. Thank you, Gator Gal. Thank you, Gator Gal, and Pisces, and Geo, and everybody for the stickers. Um, the next call is to D. Leticia to D. And this is the lady that Harley has been staying with. Um, I don't know her. I do not know her last name. I wouldn't say it if I did. Um, so 
and it is 15 minutes long so we will jump right into it thank you shelly tarbert so much and there is a little i don't i'm not even sure why but in between each call there is a little hesitation or a few seconds before the next call kicks in so but it will start i promise Thank you for using Global Telink. Hello. Hey. Hey. I um, I got the paperwork for um my barring on my retirement to give you y'all's money. Um, so I guess as soon as like they let me get to a notary or something, I can um, I can send all that or have it sent to Harley or whatever. You don't need to worry about that right now. I know, but I don't, I don't approve of what, whatever went down with Kim because I don't trust her, and I don't approve of that, and I, I never gave anybody permission to do that, and it was completely wrong in a backstab because I was going to take the receipt, the bari and the retirement, and give Harley the money to put everything in storage, and I, it was, I, I don't want Harley talking to her anymore because I was absolutely a back seven wrong. And so I don't what know... What do you not want her to do? She's got all my stuff online all over Facebook selling it. And I never gave her permission to do any of that. I never even knew anything about her getting any of it. My simple thing was, I, I asked Harley, I said, let me know whenever the virus thing, y'all can leave out the house and see if someone will take the money, get a truck, I'm waiting on my retirement paperwork, and that way I can give everybody their money. I was like, okay, I'll let you know as soon as I find out. So the whole thing was I had already talked to the people where Carrie works. She was going to give Holly the storage to put the stuff in. Mm -hmm. I just needed her, I just needed to know when y'all were doing it. Carrie was even going to offer to help with the truck. But I don't even know how all that transposed, and I don't like it, so... I don't want Harley to have anything else to do with her because she's just like my Aunt Brenda, just a younger version. And I don't like it. And so I'm not upset with you by no means, but I want you to know that um, you guys, I got that paperwork so everybody can have their own stuff back. I don't know how long it's going to take. Harley has to be 18 in order for me to do all of it. And then I have to wait, I think it says 60 days or something like that. And then I have to get it notarized. We're not, we're not concerned about that money right now, okay? Yeah, I understand. We've got we got the down payment on it. Melissa's giving a little bit of money, and you mom uh, the April payment on it. We're just making payments on Harley's attorney right now, so it's, it's all good. No, I because understand. Because I got it. No, I understand that. I don't want you. I don't want you stressing about all that. No, I'm not stressing. I, me asking a simple request that Harley is not to talk to her. Okay. That, that's, that's a simple request because that was wrong and whoever gave it approval it was wrong so that was my biggest thing because I don't even know where that even came from and I haven't even given an explanation for it okay well I mean you need, I can tell her to stop who? Kim but who who gave her permission to do that? well I mean she was just taking stuff to, Holly said some of that stuff that you had up there you were selling anyway so she was just going to sell it no. To get it out of the way. Well, it's just not what she told Amy. She told Amy she was selling everything that was in there that was Lily. Oh. And I didn't give any party permission to do any of that. Like, it's... I mean, you have to put yourself in my shoes. If people just went and started taking yourself selling it. Like, you'd be like, okay, yeah. well, let me talk to my daughter about it first. Or let me talk to... You would say, let me talk to Vinny about it first. Yeah. But see, that... This is not even anybody I even, like, talk to like that. And so then she messages Amy and tells her, like, all this stuff she's selling and money, and I'm like, what? 
Harley had directions to go put stuff in the storage and to tell everybody it would just take a little bit to get their money back as soon as I could get off my retirement. Not to mention, there's a heck of a civil suit here. Yeah. So, I I just want to know... I'll stop it. Huh? No, I mean, I I'll just want to know because that, that was wrong. Um, yeah. Absolutely. And so, anytime... Whatever, I'll try to figure out how, I don't even know where my stuff's at. Whatever, my friend Carrie, who got the storage, she works right there at the end of the Carolina Forest. I mean, Mm -hmm. I don't know. My plan was to get it to her, to put it up. Mm -hmm. Do you know that, like, some of that stuff, it's the last thing I have left of my grandpa. Some of it, Harley stuff when she was a baby, all kinds of stuff. And to me, sentimental things is more than things to be replaced. Yeah, no, she's not, she's not selling that stuff. She's just talking about selling the clothes. Yeah, but that's not her right. Some of that stuff is, one of them is, like, from my wedding. That means a lot to me, regardless of the situation. One no, of them is from Harley. Harley's graduation means a lot to me. Harley's got all her clothes and stuff here. No, I know. I said one of them was from Harley's graduation. Right. And if you look on the tags and everything, I write what specific thing I got it for because they're sentimental to me. Right. So going through those, I feel like you might as well just just take Harley. That, that, that's how that feels because that's a sentimental part of every part of our life that I've kept. Mm-hmm. And I, it just upsets me. But okay. it's not your fault. Okay. And. Well, okay, but I, I don't, I don't, I, you don't need to say anything else. I'll, I'll try to take care of that. I need to let you know, though, that um, Amy sent me a message last night that said you can call Tila. Okay. Yeah, it's That's probably like t- too early in Hawaii. So. I've been trying to call her, but when they let me out early, it's like 3 o'clock in Hawaii, and I miss her call. Okay. So it just, it just drives me crazy. And, and Harley's still trying, we're still trying to get the video thing set up. Yeah, I'm, I put that in the civil thing. The civil rights attorney will be here today. They, um, it's, well, we it's, called we called the jail, and they said because you were on, in medical that you couldn't. Right, they were mm-hmm. supposed to fix all this, but they still haven't. Okay. And five attorneys okay. tried to get me um, last week. Well, just today. Well, yeah, last week. And they were denying them. Like, people who, once that paper came out, they absolutely wanted to take it pro bono. Three from Colorado. Really? From, yeah, three from Colorado, one from Texas, one from New Jersey. But I can't get to them because they won't open that video thing up. So either way, the people have to write me letters or they might be calling people. But I know, I know if they release the contact person on my file, it's your number. So if you get a call from any of the attorneys, you have to tell them that they got me medical and they're not letting me get the video visit. So if they put money on their phone, okay. I can call them. So I need to accept any New Jersey or Texas phone calls in case it's the attorneys. Yeah, because they have been calling up here. Five had called that one the next day after it happened. And so I don't know, you know, anybody. Good, maybe they'll call me. Yeah, one of them was a civil rights guy, and um, he's actually coming today. And um, he's, like, ready to hammer on. And um, good, 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 good. Yeah, you know, because a lot of that was illegal searches and stuff because they were threatening me with Harley, you know, so I just made up random stuff. Um, and then still tried to come after Harley, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, but anyway. Um, well, Harley was supposed to, she talked to her recruiters and she said they want her to talk to, with a mental health person. Uh-huh. I guess just to make sure where her head's at. So okay. I don't know what's going to happen with that. Okay, when is she supposed to do that? Probably sometime this week. And they they put off. They said that there's no drill this week, or this month, or next month. So I mean, with everything going on, I'm not sure if they're going to hold her to the Air Force or not. All right, but honestly, Dee Dee, it's a good thing for her because her school gets paid for, and she gets health benefits. Yeah. But I mean, with everything that's that she's going, that's going on, there's she could probably get her school paid for anyway, with all the scholarships that she would qualify for. You think so? 
Mm-hmm. Hey, I trust you on that because you know about that stuff from being there with Vinny and all. I really do. I think she could get, if she didn't get it all paid for, I think she'd come really, really close to it. We'll make, we're going to make a bunch of phone calls and, and see what we can get. Yeah. Well, I mean, they shouldn't count and I don't know. anybody's income because they can't do any of that with me being in here. They can't use Alberts and they can't use mine. Well, they have to base it on last year's. Taxes, That's what I'm saying. But it should be, stuff. It, yeah, but there should be a form in a situation like this that they don't use that last year's because they used last year's. She ain't getting nothing because <laughs> right. you're talking about yeah. over hundred eighty thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, I mean, if I don't know, we'll talk to financial aid and, and see the best way to go about figuring everything out. Because see, when I because, when I did it, they made me an independent student because I had Harley. But I remember something yeah. in there that said something al- along the lines of if one of your, like, your parents were dead or something like mm-hmm. that, you could still be an mm-hmm. independent student. So right. I, I remember when my friends did it, uh, I feel like I know they had lost a parent. I feel like the other parent wasn't in the picture, but they became an independent right. student without having a child. And so... Well, they may, they may let us... Um list her and I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to the, the university and see if we can't use Benny's 50% right. discount on top of everything too well, sh- well I mean until they if they release I mean I turn it in before they release there if she's going to be released because she gets 50% off anyway under Albert's for 90 days right. so I mean I'd get, a, I'd get that in the system and it might right. be even pushed off longer than that because um, I'm contesting it in order to fight for stuff, so it might even be longer. He's, he so not, he told our nine days because that's if I don't contest it, but we right. have contested it, and we do have stuff sent in. It's just we can't. They couldn't get in here to let me sign the rest of the stuff, you know. So right. They're supposed to be in here yeah. today, and she said that she don't see why George wouldn't realize that they couldn't get in here. That we right. didn't, you know, we didn't make the first deadline. Um, so I'm sure yeah. it might even get through the first if it gets through approval the first time then you won't have to worry about it again because he's you know active duty so that should be automatic 50 percent okay um so i would try to like look into that before i like you know it went away you know what i mean because the pa office will um will do that and plus two with harley's id she should be able to do it too and i just want to talk to her before she talks to the uh, mental health people um, because she needs to really take some time and pray on it and think on it about long-term um, right. benefits versus short-term and impulse decisions. Right. So that's the biggest thing. She well, she just she just put the dog, so she's up. She was yeah. I just talked to her, but I'll oh, talk okay. to her. I'll talk to her again before she um, talks to them. And she should get okay. her check. I'll just should be in there Wednesday, and that should be her last one. Um, okay, but I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call the Social Security office because there's a possibility she could continue to get that until she's 21. Okay, well then don't do it until that one deposits, because I don't want to get in any trouble for, you know, um, you know, like not saying anything to the people or whatever. I mean, we haven't done anything wrong. I'm just saying, like, wait till that one deposits so we don't cut her off for April. You know okay. what I mean? It should have been mm-hmm. on the day. And then, because um, okay. it's went to her account. It's not, it's not mine. You know what I mean? So it's, it's went to her. So nothing's, right. been, nothing's been done wrong. It's just, um, you know. But I know, because when I called them, they told me they couldn't because she was already graduated. In fact, they were like, well, you know, right. she definitely won't get it through June. She'll get it just to April. So I was like, okay. So I don't know. Maybe you can know more. Or so I'll, I'll, talk, I'll ask them. Well, I'll ask the SS if she's enrolled in college. If it, if it continues, and she was going to talk to her supervisor and see. Yeah, yeah, because I ask them all that too, okay. but they may make extenuating circumstances or something. Like right. That. Yeah, because so I know your paperwork it said just high school, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay. We'll have to ask them. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, and um. You're welcome. You have one okay. minute remaining. For all that you've done for Harley, you and Amy's mom and Amy, and I appreciate you guys so much. And I, oh, you're you know, couldn't thank you more than anything. And I assure you, if it's any, 
you will definitely get it back out of the civil suit. So thank you guys so much. You're welcome. All All right. right. Bye. Um, she, I'm not sure Amy can clarify this. She ended up not even going at all into the Air Force, correct, Amy? That's correct, yes. And the reason why I put those ears up a couple times that I did was because I could be dead wrong, but, and it's not just in this phone conversation, it's in others too, where you hear people wanting to adopt Harley just to get the government benefits. Isn't that a crime? (laughs) Well, I mean, it's, it's not necessarily like a crime, but it's evil. And I mean, I I totally get that. You know they're they're wanting to do it for the right reason I, I, let me clarify that i'm not saying that these people are criminals for what they're trying to do by trying to adopt harley and i'm just when i first heard it a couple of weeks ago my ears perked up because i was like wow i just well it it just looks like some of these people are opportunist and i think in the case of d uh, this is my personal opinion and in d's case is that d has brought so d is the mother of one of harley's very good friends and she's overseeing harley at this time or housing harley at this time and i think she's saying like to leticia like hey you know don't worry about the money because she can be with me and that'll offset her living costs. Yeah. Yeah, I can support her, but in other cases, yes. And, and even out, I shouldn't say other cases with other people in this case. Yes. I see a lot of opportunistic behavior. And then I think you also see it in other cases we have looked at. And somebody mentioned like Orn and Orson West and, and things like that. But that wasn't a case where they were getting social security from a deceased parent. They were receiving money for fostering children and then blah, yeah. blah, blah. So. Right. Okay. I just was I wanted to ask that. Um yeah, can I can I say something really quick? Because it, the chat is going fast, and I'm trying to keep up with it. But yeah. it so I can't find where Kathy just posted. Um, <laughs> she says, "If you want to speculate, please start with an IMO." In my opinion, I love ideas and discussion, but we're trying to with these phone calls and the context or whatever. We're trying to stick with facts here, and then when we don't know who someone is or what they're talking about. Yes, we do speculate, but as far as like all this other stuff that's going on, it's very confusing to people. So I want to clarify something for those of, you know, there's a couple of people that have, that have asked from time to time. Gannon was found on 317 and then these 317, 2020, and these calls are after Gannon is found. So all these people she's talking to know that they found Gannon's body in a suitcase under the bridge and that she has new charges. Correct. And we have March 17th through March the 20th calls. Um, they got them out of order. And they sent these first and I started them and, you know, I talked to Amy about it and I think I talked to curious about it. You know, should I go back and 
do the March 17th through the 20th first, or should I, you know, just keep going with April and then do the March 20th or March 17th through the 20th. Um, but I will tell you that the March 17th through the 20th calls are very nothing, just very nothing. Um, I think there's six or seven calls and it's to H and K, I believe all, all six calls. Um, so I, yesterday I did send in a request for the rest of the March calls from the 21st to the end of March of 2020. Um, so now we just wait and we will finish out the April calls and then we'll jump back to do the 17th through the 20th and the 21st through the end of March of 2020. Um, so there, there's, um, there's a comment right here because this keeps coming up over and over again. T didn't let Al adopt Harley before, so Harley didn't lose the survivor benefits from her dad. So I was really confused on this too. I said, yeah, that's true on a previous live and then corrected myself and so I'll reiterate it today because it has been established. If Arlie was adopted, she wouldn't have lost her SSI benefits. I truly believe Letitia didn't want Harley adopted by Al because then she lost control of her own daughter. That was her possession. I, I don't think Tisha looked at her daughter as a daughter. I think she looked at her as a puppet. Um you know, somebody that had to love her, somebody that she could control. And she didn't want to share that officially with anybody. Yeah, because usually, well, I shouldn't say that because I don't know factually if all women, you know, would love for their other half to want to adopt, you know, to, that would even want to adopt their, their child. But from everything I've gathered and everything we've listened to, Al did try to adopt her all five years they were together. Right. And, you know, she was just, uh-uh, not happening. So. Right. Because it gave her, it's, it's hard to explain, but having, so having, let, let me, actually I found a way to say it kind of articulately. Um, Letitia actually had custodial rights to Lena and Gannon. So she shared legally Al's children with him. But she wasn't going to share her own child with him. It yeah. had to be her own little corner. So she had legal rights to all the children. And he had legal rights to his own children. And that's... Yeah control yeah and she had more she had legal custody over Lena and Gannon more than what Landon did because they, exactly. were, Landon had, they had to take it to court yeah Landon had visitation Letitia had custodial rights and that was because when, hold on one second. When Al was still in Alaska and Letitia, what? And, uh, and, and Letitia was, um, sorry, I've got people walking in. And I picked a bad spot. Um, no, you're fine. <laughs> and uh, Letitia was just with. Uh, Gannon, Lena, and Harley, she had to have custodial rights. And, and Landon, 
she yeah she had to have custodial rights so she could she could manage the children's health care enroll them in school all that stuff and landon only had visitation so that's how that worked yeah and you know you listen to her in the body cam footage and in the interviews she had all of those rights but never made a decision for them she deflected everything to al i don't know who it, i don't know who any of gannon's friends are al takes care of you know he does all of that so you have to talk to al about that yes she she shirked to that responsibility once she was under the microscope because 48 hours 72 hours 96 hours prior to all of this she's telling everybody these um everybody thinks these are my children because i'm more of a mother to them i do everything with them i i make things special i make sure they're cared for blah 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 <laughs> i take them on hikes you know ev yeah. everything and yeah. then the moment she's under the microscope for these children and she's going to be held accountable for their health and well-being and and their location it's well i don't know Al deals with all of that. I, I have no idea. The the witch had an idea because she had her hands in everything that went on in that house. There was nothing that went on in that house that Letitia didn't know about, including where Al was at all times and who he was with. Exactly. Exactly. If anybody didn't know what was going on, it was Al, and it was only because Letitia was making it difficult for him to you know get his hands on stuff so like finances things like that she was sneaky she moved things around and you know he's in and out and he trusts her to run that not necessarily run their finances but you know run the home while he's gone and she's you know she's just making it difficult covering her tracks it's, it's all she does. She's, I'm sorry. She's just a person that does bad things and covers her tracks and lies about it and tells another lie and creates a distraction and tells another lie and creates a distraction. And hell, she was pretty good with it until she decided to murder her stepson. <laughs> yeah. Was yeah. so good at that. Yeah. I mean, and then, you know, it got to the point to where the lies just got so to be so many and piled on top of each other that well and i you know sadly she didn't count on if you if you're lying to your husband about um you, you, how much your clothes cost or how many pairs of shoes you just bought or why you have you know 96 bras with the tags still on them what you know what and they all came from an expensive lingerie store all of those things you're just dealing with your husband right and he like maybe he goes to the credit card bills and and then you're like yeah but that was because i bought this for you and it's back and forth right and at a certain point you know it's like the money's spent and he just maybe throws up his hands now when you are caring for a child and they disappear and then in quotes and then they find massive amounts of blood in the house and your stories are inconsistent you don't you aren't having that conversation solely with your husband anymore you're having trained fbi agents and behavioral analysts mm -hmm. detectives and detectives looking into things you know when you're spending when, when you're lying to your husband about something else he's not hiring detectives to come in every single time you have an argument about it but you start doing things like unaliving your kid then yeah you're she thought well wow you know al's so stupid i get this over on him all the time and and um and then when it comes down to you know to this she's like whoa wait oh i'm having to deal with more than my husband I didn't even think about that. And I usually just tell my husband that Landon's stupid and that she's trash and blah, blah, blah. But now, you know, because it's Al and Landon's kid that's missing, he's not hearing any of that. You know, I'm not even going to say that he 
he believed those things about Landon when, when she said them. I think he appeased Letitia because, you know, you're married to one woman and you don't want to stick up for your ex-wife. Yeah. Yeah. And he, you know, it's it's in the report. Al did, he did mess up, but he realized it real quick and came forward real quick with it. Yeah. Um, he did, he did cover for Letitia's going and getting the rental car. Um, he wasn't forthcoming with it, but I think within a matter of hours after he had gone and looked for where she said she parked her car at the school and it wasn't there, um, is when he got a cold bucket of water in his face and Al knew right then and there that she had something to do with this. He didn't know what, obviously. But he knew that she wasn't being forthright. He I knew. Think, yeah. He knew that she has been lying. And he, like I said, he went straight to the authorities and said, look, I didn't tell you everything, but I am here to tell you everything now. And that's what the man did. He sat down with them and done an interview with them. And they straight up asked him, do you think she had something to do with the disappearance? Yes, I do. Yes. And, and you know, he's got, he, first and foremost, he did it because he wants his son found. Okay, that's, that's the, the, the main reason he he had a battle of his conscience but he's also in a position where he has security clearances and all other kinds of things he cannot i mean nobody's supposed to lie to law enforcement but he he you know not only like his job too right right and his, the, you know you and i talked about this a little bit and i i don't want to keep like going on and on because I know people want to hear the other calls. So I'll try to make this real quick, but you and I had a conversation about this. I, the more the time goes by, I think that Al could have, I mean, he, he could have said, you know what? I suspect my wife in his first interview, but there was something in him. This inner Scooby-Doo got a hold of him. And he was like, no, before I throw Tisha under the bus, because I just cannot fathom her killing my kid or hurting my child. Um, I'm going to go look and see where the car is. Cause like there, something about the story isn't making sense. If that's off, then I'll come back. And th that was, I think that was a mistake. Um, I don't Oh, I, Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, you know, because his son and her stepson, is missing and you're worried about mileage on a car that's what you're worried about tisha right and and what some people don't know is that um two weeks before this happened well again it had been seeing you know they talked about it in court gannon had been seeing a therapist yeah and his last appointment was what eight days before this happened like seven or eight days. January the 20th, if I remember right. Right. So in the all, in the recent appointments, like in the last, like let's say three or four months, he was continually, Gannon was continually expressing that he did not mesh well with Letitia. Now, I'm just going to put it nicely because I don't, you know, um, and it's interesting because when you hear Letitia talk, Gannon and I are, you know, we just have a good time together. We just do this. Well, she talks about that with Harley, too. Harley and I are best friends. She's my mini-me or whatever. Clearly, the benefit of the case file and these phone calls are, once again, we're disproving Tisha's lies. Right. She's a typical narcissist. She wants everybody 
to think that everything looks really perfect and shiny on the outside and it's just not kind of like a lot of people on facebook and, and everywhere else may your life be as perfect as you present it on social media oh that's right tracy l she said do you remember back when this broke she said she got a rental so gannon wouldn't recognize the car yeah so they could find him. i do yeah. yeah i mean there was a million reasons why she got this rental car mm -hmm. and what she what tracy's saying is that leticia said well if he sees us driving driving around in the red truck he might be scared he's in trouble and run from us so we should get a rental car so he doesn't know it's us a car he doesn't recognize yeah oh so crazy she she would just she was saying anything and everything man i mean it's it, it is it's it's crazy um so the next call is with Kay. um it's 15 minutes long and she's still going on about the clothes and other chit chat um so we will get to it Hello? Hey. Hey. You up early? Yeah, I didn't have a good night. Huh? I didn't have a good night. Are you crying? Yeah, I'm right. What's wrong? Well, I got upset with Harley last night about all the stupidness. I just talked to her and it's okay, but so like I told Harley the other, like a couple weeks ago, I said to Harley, listen to me, I said, whenever, you know, you want to, um, whenever you guys go to get your stuff or whatever, I said, let me know. I have a friend who works at the facility at the end of the street and she knows that because I was talking about plates off or whatever. I said, someone I just have to put their name on the vehicle truck thing and y'all can go get stuff and then carry it there and she's gonna put it in her storage so you know that they, they gave it to kim and kim's got it all online selling it and i'm like you don't know how much that stuff was so sentimental to me oh I, so you didn't know no i never told him to do that you never oh I never, I never gave anybody permission to do that. For my child, I'll do right. That's not the point. But there were some jackets that I said could have been sold. In the jackets. But then Amy tells me, she's like, no, she's selling like all your Lily stuff. Girl, on the tags of all my Lily stuff had special stuff on it. One of them was my grandma's funeral. One of them was Harley's graduation. And I keep stuff like that. Uh, ooh. Ooh. I didn't know none of that. Yeah. And the whole thing was, the girl was going to put it, the girl works at the storage facility, she was going to put it in one, and not even, you know, just put it on the books, it's like $25, $30, you know. And then Harley was going to get my, that receipt from them for the um, attorney. And I couldn't borrow on my retirement if it's something like that. And then I was gonna give everybody like the rest of their money back. I just told them it might take, you know, cause you know, like process like that, they have to turn in the paperwork and plus too, nobody could get in here to help me get it notarized, you know. And um, right. and I was like, you know, they'd get their money back or whatever. And so I called mm -hmm. and she was like, I can tell her to stop. I was like, I never gave anybody permission to do that. like. Why? I understand there needed to be money. But you guys, I asked y'all this ahead of time, and y'all said, don't worry about it, you got it covered. And I said, I go, I'll go ahead and get my paperwork for my retirement. And I'm just like, what? And to me, I know it's material things. 
But some of the things are very important. I could care less if I came back and had jackets or some of the stuff. But a lot of the dresses, Holly will tell you, we have memory boxes and I keep a lot of the stuff. Like certain things and all that. Like I go through and keep tens, tens of items. But in some of those pockets, I'm bad for putting stuff in my pockets inside. So, like in my closets and stuff. Some of those pockets on stuff that might have been like a jacket that might have been one of them belonged to one of my friends who died, who died in the car accident. Inside there was my grandpa's last stuff that I had with my grandpa in, in a zipper pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that's got to be tough on you. Yeah. Like I said, I didn't realize any of that. Yeah, and I'm just like, I don't care about this stuff to be replaced. If it's for Harley, I don't care, but why is someone else doing it? And be like, oh, I'm getting you money. No, she's, you know what? Honestly, she's just like ain't friendly, but a younger version. Talks all this talk, you know, claims to do all this stuff. Not Dee Dee. Kim. Um, and I'm just like, well, why would she even be involved? <laughs> like, I don't even. Yeah, talk to I don't. Her I like didn't that. know who she. I don't know who she is. Yeah. yeah. Like I don't even talk to her like that. Somebody else just wanting to get their name out there in some sort of look famous mode. <laughs> like her husband. So, but you've talked to Harley since last night. Yeah, and I told Harley, I said, I'm not upset with you, but if people are doing these things, you need to tell me. I'm not going to be mad at you. And I told Dee Dee, I'm not mad at you either because you have went above and beyond you and Amy. So I'm not upset with you. I said, the only thing I expect from people is that they just tell me what's going on. Or even just, you know, like the whole thing with the whole um, adoption, the use of things. I wouldn't even be mad about that. Because I love Melissa and them. Like, they're, like she's my sister. And I know that they are good people, and I know they would do anything they could. But then I get it told to me by someone else, and I'm like, what? Yeah, now I, I, now I did hear about that the other day, and I'm like, y'all, y'all need to, y'all talk. I said, have y'all talked to Tisha Lynn about that? And Amy just assumed that they had. I said, Amy, I don't, I, she did. I'm she not going to tell her anything like that. She, she was like, oh, well, she was like, but I wanted you to know. And I was like, no, I appreciate it. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go fussing on Melissa or mad at her. I said, because she means good intention. She doesn't mean, if you had told me it was burned to go, I'm going to say, you, you're out of your mind. You know what I mean? Right, right. But I know that Melissa and Sean mean good intentions when it comes to Harley. Harley and Charlie have been friends since the fifth grade. Charlie has been with me everywhere around the world. Cruises, trips, Puerto Rico, flights. They know better than to think something like that. So I know that they're looking at it as this girl has always took care of our child and took her everywhere and done everything with her. You know, not necessarily it would pay you back or anything, but you know, like we, we would be doing this out of our best interest too for right now. For the temporary. Right, right. But, like, I have to hear right. it from other people. And I'm just like, and Harley's like, well, Mom, well, no one could call you to tell you that. I said, Harley, I talk to you every day. I said, someone could have said to you, hey, make sure Mom calls me. I have something important to talk to her about. Yeah. I think maybe, in Harley's defense, maybe she didn't know how to approach anything like that. I know I wouldn't. I understand. Because I just that. said, that's my age. I called Harley back, and this morning, first thing, and I said, look, I'm not upset with you. I'm sorry for being upset with you. I said, but you got to understand. I says, regardless, I, I raised you enough to you know right from wrong. And I said, you, I, mm-hmm. I'm not worried about you going out doing crazy stuff because you know how you've been raised. I said, stop it. I said, I also know that you're such a good-hearted person that people can easily influence you on things. And so, like, to tell you, right. to tell you to say, Katrina... She, they talk to the recruiter, and the recruiters want her to talk to mental health first before she proceeds. I get that. That's the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. Okay. But listen to this. It is a smart choice for school and health care. Oh, gosh, it is. I know. As long as you're okay with it and you know about it. Right. Then... But her going off to basic training, because they said after she has to talk to a basic, she could do it for herself, too, not having to depend upon anybody else. 
And I understand, mm-hmm. you know, the situation is hard. Sometimes in situations that are hard like that, military can be your best option. She's already in. Yes. She needs some counseling too, though, Tisha Lynn. I understand that. Now I'm just saying, I want you to talk to her about that. They, no, that's the requirement. Their military Air Force is telling her she's got to talk to someone this week. And, I'm, and I understand yeah. that. You're supposed to. Because if not, the stuff comes back to hurt you later in life. Right. I don't want that to, to hurt her. Right. Because it's not about what I want. Exactly. It's what she needs. So if she feels right. like... If she feels like that that's not the best option because she wants to just stay, you know, close to people she knows right now, that's fine. But I want it to be a smart decision, not because other people are telling you what to do, you know. Or I want it to be based right. on her praying about it and waiting for, listen, God tells people, gives people answers at whatever age, as long as they're you know, in the faith and going to him. He will help guide her into deciding whether she should continue joining or not. And right. You're right. Him. And so if anything you could do for me is just tell her that. Like coming for someone else. Okay. That your mom's not going to be upset with you either way. But she just wants you to make sure, you know, that it's not an impulsive decision. It's not influenced by what other people think. That it's what, you know, God thinks is best for her. And that's through prayer. That's not making a decision or rushing in it. That's, right. You know, through praying and, 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 and maybe even speaking to people, you know, who are more deep in their faith to give her, you know, help her with prayer and stuff like that. You know, and that's, and I, and it's hard because, you know, like, deep dating them, they don't go to church. So, I can't express that. Well, as far as the adoption thing, they can't do it without your permission anyway. Yeah. They just can't. Even though and they only got what? Well, nobody took away your rights. She's still your child. Yeah. No, I was just that one blew me away, and I'm like, I don't want to have to do with that. Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah, didn't no. care for it. Yeah. I understand yeah. what they're trying to do, but I just I didn't care for it. At least not without talking to me to tell me like the good intentions of it. Not, <laughs> you know. I'm just exactly. To you know, I'm territorial that. anyway. We're territorial people. Yeah. By nature, especially when it comes to our children. Yeah. But um, you know, uh, I don't like that. Mm-mm. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> that was pretty much my conversation about it. You know. <laughs> And I do feel like, you know, you need you need to be in the loop. Amy feels the same way. Amy feels like you need to know everything that's going on all the time. Yeah. I mean, I've only helped her make decisions for 18 years in her life. I mean, I'm not so yeah. good there. I think what it is, I, I just think, you know, so much is going on that she's just, she, she like I said, she needs, she needs some counseling. And I believe at the same time, she's trying not to stress you out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she doesn't realize that you not knowing is stressing you out. Yeah. Well, if there's a way you can talk to her, you know, you, oh, you, word, you wording it, but me wording it being upset is a whole different story, you know? Right. And that I'm okay exactly. with her talking to someone. I want her to have all the tools that she she can get on the phone right now and call Military One Source. She's doing Albert's benefits. They will talk to her right over the phone. All she has to do is give them her social and Albert's social. And I can I can I can give that to whoever. I don't wish she wants anything to do with him. That's not him. It's Military One Source. It's it's a form of okay. benefits. She would call a 800 number, and they would give her someone who would call her on the phone and talk to her. Yeah. You can talk to them about anything. You can call them and talk to them if you just feel like you're having a bad day. It's free. It's okay. called Military One Source. You can look it up. All they'll do is run it in and see that she's a qualified dependent. 
and she can use that. So I've already utilized that for, for right now because all she's got to do is call and just talk to him about what's going on, how she's feeling, all those things. Mm-hmm. And that will help her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's what she needs. The child never got to I'm glad you... For her father. Yeah. She said she didn't want it. We tried. Um, she should have. We tried. Yeah. She don't want it. She don't want it. She don't want it. But her mother is a different story. Because it's always been her mother there. You have one oh. minute remaining. But I'm glad that you, you know, you talked to her today because I... Okay, good. Yeah. Good. Was she okay this morning when you talked to her? Yeah, you could tell she had been upset crying. So, so, if you just let her know that I talked to you and said, you know, she means the world to me. I I am worried about her. If she talk, but she's got to be able to talk to me, so I know. Yeah. You don't shut down. I agree. Down and she'll be quiet and not say anything. And then I don't I don't know something that stresses me out more by not knowing. Because then I I can't. Do right. I'm worried and I can't do nothing. Right. So, so, you know, let her know I talk to you, and, and that's kind of what it is. And, you know, I, I know matter her choice she makes, I love her and I'm going to support her. I just want her to make sure she's doing it based upon what she needs, wants, and what God desires for her. Yeah, for the right reason. Thank you for using. I like how she put in there that I helped her make decisions for 18 years. Um, Probably the better way to say that is I made the decisions for her for 18 years. Because I'm sure that Harley didn't get much input. I agree. You know, it's, it's funny because I, I was thinking this and then I saw it in the comments as well. Do you notice that she, she tests the things that she wants done with Harley because there's that emotional responsible bond and everybody's fussing over Harley and then she pitches them to the adult second. I mean, she's very calculating. Like she does it to her own daughter. And then they're like, oh, you got off the phone with your mom. What did she say? And Harley's like, well, we really need to, you know, I'm just making this up. Or she really wants us to, or it's really important that I do this. And then the adults call and then Leticia's like, I'm just trying to take care of Harley. And here's what, you know, I need done here. It's, it's so gross. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, this next call, Amy, is going to be April 7th to K. Oh. And <laughs> Oops. 2029. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys. I make mistakes. I make a lot of them how I roll, but I, you know, I'll be accountable for them. So, all right. <laughs> I, I, oops. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Cause they know it wasn't me. Now that they yeah. So we got to just, you know, it's hard cause you want, I got to, Make sure I get it started in the right spot, guys. Well, Amy, I meant to tell you, Amy told me to tell you that she's sorry because she told me what happened about the whole thing with Harley. She didn't mean anything by it. She was just trying to help. She don't want you mad at her. So I'm not mad at Amy. the random people and even you know that I don't talk yeah. to random people. Yeah. Mm. But the attorneys know and they Really? <sighs> yeah. Jesus Christ. It's crazy. All mm-hmm. the people who have it. So 
like, holy shit, I missed it again. Three. And she'll be quiet. Then look at all, all they'll do is run it in and see. All she's got to do is call him and just talk to him. There's not good to different story. Because there's always been her mother there. You have one oh. minute remaining. But I'm glad that you, you know, you talked to her today because I'll. Okay, good. Yes. Good. Yeah. Um, you know, and was anyway. she okay this morning when you talked to her? Yeah, you could know she had been upset crying. And so, and so, you just let her know that. I t- talked to you and said, you know, she means the world to me. I, I am worried about her. If she talk, because she's got to be able to talk to me, so I know. Yeah. You don't shut down. I she agree. Shut down and she'll be quiet and not say anything. And then I don't, I don't know. So then that stresses me out more by not knowing. Because then I, I can't. Do right. Anything. I'm worried and I can't do nothing. Right. So, so you know, let's let her know I talked to you, and, and that's kind of what it is, and you know. I know at her choice she makes, I love her and I'm going to support her. I just wanted to make sure she's doing it based upon what she needs, wants, and what God desires for her. Yeah, for the right reason. Thank you for using. Thank you for using Global Tell Link. Hey, hello. Hey. hey. Hey, oh, yeah, sorry. I, I always forget about the time thing. I'm like, oh my God. Okay. Amy, I told you wrong and I do apologize. It was 2029? <laughs> no, this is, it isn't to K, it's to T. Okay. Uh, four seven, correct? Yes, four seven twenty twenty. Okay. God. <laughs> the time. Yeah. <laughs> you called me three in the morning. I was like, "Holy shit, I missed it again." <laughs> no, I was like, "Shoot, I missed twice." Amy's probably. I told her. I told um, Amy to tell you. Yeah, I was on the that I missed your calls. I was on the phone with Harley, and she was like, uh, I'm supposed to tell you that Tila said call. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but I had already, that, that was on my last phone call that day, and I was like, okay. So then yesterday morning, I was like 6.45, and I was like, oh, God, no, never mind. So it was 40, 2.45 there. <laughs> yeah, so I was, was like, super Dad, early. Calling it. So I called Amy, and like, this, I, I just called her later. So they just yeah. Here, because they don't ever know when they can take you out, because everybody's walking around with masks, and, you know, like, it's like a, Oh, there? Yeah. I was going to ask you, how is that going? Because they don't really give the public, they don't give the public really much information. So, Well, the only downside to it is because they're making me stay in medical, I'm housed with mm -hmm. people who have it. With the COVID? Yeah. Um, Can they do that? Yeah, I mean. Aren't you supposed to be isolated, though? Well, I guess they're considering if you're in your cell, you're isolated, but still, you, you know, your food comes through there. You have to walk through there when you get your hour out or whatever. But Are you allowed to have masks? Um, no, all the workers have them, though. Wait, but why ain't y'all got them, though? I really could care less about this. I'm telling you, I, I swear to God, people in prison have it ten times better than people in jail. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. I was like, oh my god. So I just, I mean, we have a civil, a civil rights attorney too that um, he's trying to work on getting people out because of this virus going on, you know. So he's been like busy. Yeah. Um. So he um is supposed to come in. They were actually supposed to come yesterday, and then you have to, if the attorneys come in, they have to wear a mask and have to get a temperature taken. Well, they came, and one of them was sick. Oh, hell no. Okay. So they've been yeah. 
they've been out sick. I haven't, I've seen them on video visits, but I haven't, like, had, like, I haven't had the yeah. time to, like, talk to them yet because, um, but then they came emergency today and said, we don't want to freak you out. You have an emergency here, and tomorrow's like, me? Why? Yeah. They were like, the judge is taking you over there for, um, Landon's emergency custody against Albert, and they were like, you have to go be interested. Wait, in emergency what? Landon filed for emergency custody of Landon. Oh, no. Wow. Well, we, but you knew this was happening. Yeah, I mean, yeah and, she's that, and she's that yeah. with Mike, which is what I'd already told everybody. Wait till they find out. Oh, but anyway. Um, she did what with Mike? She's, she's back with him, which she never left in the beginning Jesus. with. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. But the attorneys know, and they um, they know uh, the involvement, and they know what happened, and they know what yeah. to do. They're just waiting to get in here. So... We can talk about, you know, different stuff without everybody listening. Yeah. You know, people listen on here and they'll listen on the other thing, whatever. By the way, them listening to you, I just don't want you to panic. That was helping me. <laughs> just so you know. Say what now? Them listening to our conversation or whatever, that helped me actually because I had already told you guys. I was like, hey, I told a bunch of stories to Albert, you know. Yeah. So yeah. That, that wasn't nothing. It was just confirming what I had already said anyway so I didn't want yeah, to it's just about that. people are annoying they'd be trying to add me and stuff I'm like I don't even know who you are like I don't talk to random people and even you know that I don't talk yeah. to random people so. yeah yeah I, I, thought, I figured yeah. they only put people's first names in theirs I don't know why they put I thought they were supposed to be <laughs> legit put my own name I was like oh shit I know but well, whatever I about it like already they, like before yeah. I just couldn't I wanted to look at that gag order I wanted to tell you but yeah, if it would have yeah, been, yeah. been something like, you know, harmful, I would have done it anyway, like told you, but no. I, I, knew it, I knew it was nothing, so I was just yeah. like, I was like, I told everybody anyway that I was so mad at Albert, and I told him 15,000 things because he pissed me off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was yeah. Like, I have a right to be mad, but anyway. Yeah. So I'm just, you know, waiting out, and they like canceled Oh, me. Amy. I meant to tell you, Amy told me to tell you that she's sorry because she told me what happened about the whole thing with Harley. She didn't mean anything by it. She was just trying to help. She don't want you mad at her. So. I'm not mad at Amy. Okay, at okay. She just she's, wanted to make sure you weren't. She actually should be in, like, she's in the right about it because people shouldn't withhold information from me. Yeah. You know, regardless. Yeah. That's my child, and and see, putting her in. The well, yeah, I told her. I said if she if she would have came to me, I would I would have told her. I was like, she would never. Tisha would never. That's her baby. That's always going to be her baby. Yeah. And she's so close to eighteen, it would be stupid to do it. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's like it makes so. no sense. I get it. People are panicking and all that, but it's like. No, oh, that's for your child. Have some faith, you know. Pray to yeah. God. Yeah. Pray to God and yeah. have some faith. When, whenever yeah. they, you know, once the attorneys found out, they were just like, 